Three weeks ago, I uploaded a video about how to make motion graphics in CapCut. The views, likes, and comments went nuts. Thank you all for your supports. And I've created a new commercial video for Coca-Cola. Let me show you how I made it. Before we go on, please subscribe and like the video to support me. This video has five steps. Step one, how to find ideas for our motion. The best way is to analyze your product to understand its shape and style. There are two ways I usually use to get the best idea. One of them is Pinterest, a community of creative people sharing their ideas and art with the world. I'm not saying to copy their art. No, just search and see because art inspires art. Download all photos and videos and put them in a folder. The second way is a tool that complete the first way, Pure Ref Program. It's a tool to help you see all your references in one board and organize your mind to get better ideas. Most editors, digital painters, and 3D artists use this tool for their projects. When you've downloaded all your references, look at them carefully and ask some questions about the brand. What's the color of Coca-Cola? We all know Coca-Cola is red, so our background should be red. But I think black and white can be nice too because I remember movies like Schindler's List or Sin City using this style to make the red color pop up in the shot. So, you can get new ideas from your favorite movies too. Now we've found our two colors. We need their logo because the video is about the brand. Then, a photo of their product. They have different shapes of bottles, but we need to find a cold and cool photo to grab the best attention. What else can we add to our video? A bottle cap. And a text about the product like their slogan? like fresh, cold, or just write their brand names. Step two, now with this knowledge, you can download your assets. It's time to open Photoshop to make our footage ready for motion. Import the photo of the Coca-Cola brand. With the color picker, select the red color, and then with the paint bucket tool or press G, click on the white area and make it red. Now, export only the red layer. Then, drop your another cap bottle in Photoshop and erase the center of the shot. Use the wand tool to delete the area you want, and then use the eraser to delete the other parts. And export it as PNG. Do the same process for the other image too. Click the link in the description to download this tutorial files to make your own video. Step 3. Open CapCut. Import all your assets into it. A pro editor should always have a clean workspace. The best way is to put your different files in different folders to speed up your editing. Make folders for your sound effects, background, songs, and others. Before we start editing, in Modify, Free Layer, import your background image in the first layer. Set the ratio to real size. Increase the duration. In Text Layer, add a text layer on the second layer. Put it in the middle of the shot. Write Coca-Cola. Choose your font. A bold font is fine. Duplicate it by holding Alt and right-click dragging it on top. To understand the editing better, move the first layer down. In position, set the Y axis to negative 400. For the third layer, set the Y axis to 400. Trim them like stairs with a 10 frame distance. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Do same process for other layers too. And then move all of them further. And in other tutorials, I added sound effects at the end of the project. But for this tutorial, I do sound design and motion together. In the sound effect folder, I add three bubble sounds under the text to know if the timing of the cuts is right or not. Then it's time to add music. Cut the music at the time when the beat is hit and starts. Put it under the last bubble. It's like when a drummer hits three beats to signal the band to get ready to sing. When the music starts, our bottle should come into the shot. Put it at the center of the shot and scale it a little bit. First, we need two keyframes, A and B. A should be out of the shot, and B should be in its current location. 
So, make keyframes for B first, then at the beginning of the layer, move it to the top of the shot. We get this animation. To make the animation more realistic, we need to add lifelike motion to it. Let's take inspiration from the real world. When an object falls into water, it creates a unique movement where it pushes the water down, but the water also pushes it up simultaneously. To replicate this effect, let's create keyframes and adjust the position and rotation of the object accordingly. First, let's move a little further from the initial keyframe to create a new keyframe. Let's call it keyframe C and adjust the position downwards slightly. Additionally, we'll rotate the object by about 3 degrees. Next, let's move to the end of the layer and raise the object upwards while rotating it further. Maybe around 16 degrees. This will simulate the motion of the object entering and then rising from the water. Move C keyframe to end of layer to have more movement. Now, let's add the water splash effect on top of the object layer and set its blend mode to screen. We'll need to trim the beginning of the water splash video and add a fade in animation to ensure a smooth transition. We should sync the water splash movement with the motion of the object hitting the water to make it look more realistic. You can increase the speed of the video for better results. Adding keyframes for position, scale, and rotation will help synchronize the movements of the water with the object's motion. Create two keyframes at the beginning and end of the layer to match the movement of the bottle shape. This ensures that the animation follows the exact motion of the bottle throughout the entire sequence. Move both of the last keyframes further to slow down the movements and create a smoother animation. We can also duplicate the water layer and move it beneath the object layer to enhance the fluidity of the animation. Then, select the bottle layer. In the mask part, choose horizontal to cut the top of the bottle, then invert it. Next, duplicate the layer and invert the mask to reveal the bottle cap. For the end of the movement, create two keyframes at the current location, but remember to delete the previous keyframe after make keyframe at the current location. Then, add a second keyframe to move it out of the shot. Add a line graphic animation video under the bottle, change the blend mode to screen, and set the location when the cap is open. You can increase the speed to get more action animation. For the second animation, we'll duplicate the red background layer and apply a fade in animation. Then, we'll add a bottle cap in the middle of the shot and make it slightly smaller. Then, create three keyframes. One at the current position, another at the beginning of the shot where it moves down out of the shot. And the third keyframe a little further from the middle keyframe and rotate it 30 degrees. Place the second water splash under the cap bottle. Change the blend mode to screen. Move it behind the cap bottle. Choose the fade in animation for a better reveal. In the graphic folder, I have some line animations. We use them as soda bobbles in the air, put them on top and under the cap layers. Change the blend mode to screen. Adjust the size and position randomly for a better result. Increase their speed and duplicate them to get more. We get this animation. For the third shot, duplicate the red background and place it on top of all layers. Then, add the white cap bottle in the middle of the shot. Only create keyframes for rotation. Don't create keyframes for position and scale. Rotate it from 0 to 360 degrees and scale it to cover the entire size. Make it bigger, duplicate it and make it smaller. Repeat this process two more times.
at the end of the four layers, change two of the keyframes to negative 360 degrees to achieve two different rotations. The result is something like this. Next, select the background layer and duplicate it. Go to the mask section and select the circle mask, then adjust the size of the circle. Now add the logo to the timeline. In the adjustment section, curve part, reduce the brightness and red color to make it black. In the filter settings, apply negative filter to the logo brand to make it white. Just like that, easy peasy. You can also add some animation for beginning of layer, like zoom out. Now, let me change the layout to see better detail. This way, you have more control over the details. For smoother transitions, we should make our transition. Can we create transitions in CapCut? Of course, why not? In the effects section, under lens, add a blur effect at the beginning of every shot. Set keyframes from 0 to 50 for the blur to create a fade-in effect. Then, we can add more effects. In Distort, add ripples and adjust the twist and speed to mimic water movements. Change the duration and place it at the right time, like when a beat hits or when the shot is ready to change. Now, for color grading. If you remember from the beginning of the tutorial, I mentioned we have two main colors, red and black and white. So, layers should be separated with these two colors in mind. Select the background layer and decrease saturation in the adjustments. You can also make the cap bottles black and white or add some vignette to the background. Then, add some animation to the cap bottles, like a zoom out effect for all of them. For the second shot, we can add some lines to cover the empty areas. Simply place the line layer under the layers. By using a horizontal mask and making keyframes for position to move the mask from left to right, we can reveal the line. Then, make it a compound clip. Add ripple distribution from effect part to it, adjusting the size, strength, and twist to create wavy movements. To avoid any bad edges, scale it a little bit. Finally, duplicate it and rotate it 180 degree to have the same movement for the top area. Now, let me add a little bit of spice to that. To get a better perspective, let's add hazy effect on top all caps and decrease blur a little bit. Then change the brightness of the layers to guide the eyes towards the logo. Additionally, Decrease the brightness separately for layers. The cap near camera should be more darker than other layers. Let's add some smoothness to our animation. Just select the layer with the animation. By right-click, show keyframe animation and choose Auto Curve. Then, make it a compound clip. After that, turn on motion blur and wait for the process. Reduce the blur and blend. Did you see different between them? Repeat the same process for the soda bottle. Sound effect. Finally, for sound design, use bubble and soda sounds underneath the layers, just like this. Done.
Don't forget to like my video, subscribe the channel, and hit bell for new tutorial. And as always, stay creative. <laughs> Cheers!